Hey guys, I wanted to bring you a quick little art brittle sort of side note. Uh, my friend, dear friend Leslie McGrath um, did an art brittle um, takeoff using UV resin, which I happen to have. Um, and she did some experiments with it and she and I were chit chatting back and forth about it before, during and after her experiments in her video. And so I broke my stuff out to try and yeah, I made some more brittle. <laughs> um, so this was pretty cool. So um, the benefit, main benefit to UV resin is, of course, that there's not the, you know, three days uh, um, of drying time, you know, a day for each layer. Uh, so you can do it in the space of a few minutes. I do find with the UV resin, if you're going to try it with UV resin, um, some of these I didn't do it on, but it is UV resin, so I can put it out in the sun, it'll be fine. But... I find that do the top part and cure it and it'll be nice and hard, it's not sticky. Then turn it over and do the back side um, for three to five more minutes. We, she and I both did find, find that if you do each layer of resin with um, the foils or glitter or whatever in it, um, you need to cure it for about five to six minutes. Um, even for the bottle caps. So so keep that in mind. Um, for the big pieces, again, turn it over. Once you get the top, you got all your layers in and you, the top is cured, pull it out of the mold, turn it over, do it for another five minutes. Um, these two, I didn't do that to you and the backside's a bit sticky. I did also take that popsicle stick I was using at the end and I put that in the UV lamp and... Oops, where are we? There we are. I'll be using that at some point on something. Um, and the bottle caps are cute. Now, initially I thought, you know, you could do, you maybe use a bottle cap as a mold and pop it out. If you don't put too much resin in it, like I did here, I didn't put too much, I could pop it out of the cap. But in these, there's too much resin, it won't pop out. That's okay, because this is an interesting embellishment. But it does lead me to a future video in which I think I'm going to take these sort of beer bottle type caps and also maybe some water bottle or milk jug type caps and make some cap shaped molds that then we try to make resin brittle with and get some more little pieces kind of like this. So just another side note to the brittle. Um, it is a great um, quicker way to make brittle. I still want to try making it with uh, Mod Podge or Deco Page or even uh, Deco Arts Clear Pouring Top Coat in layers. Again, it's not going to be like the UV resin. It's going to take a lot longer to dry. Um, but I think it might work and might be interesting too. If you try that, let me know how it turns out. Um, you can see in this one I had a bunch of letter punch outs from making some words on paper, which are here, with the Me We Are Memory Keepers word punch. These are like the leftover waste part. I put it in the brittle and that came out cute. And then I had a bunch of these nail art little fruits from like Dollar Tree or Wish or something. Anyway, they turned out cute too. Um, do I care that they're not flat or they're, they're lumpy and bumpy? No, this is art brittle. We're gonna break it up. We're gonna turn it into small pieces and use it for our embellishments anyway. We want the texture, we want the interest, we want the uneven shapes. It's not about being perfect. So make some art brittle. I'll put my video and Leslie's in the description below. I think you should go check it out. That's it for today. If you would like to, Please sh like, share, and subscribe. Not only my video, but go over to Leslie's channel and show her some love. Um, so if you would also like to follow me on Instagram or support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook groups, you can do that by clicking on my link tree list of links, which is also in the description below, al along with my happy mail address and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out. And above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.